Hi, this is Roger of Dinosaurs, and this is for all the manly man patriots in the USA. Real men don't watch sissy stuff like RuPaul's Drag Race. You know, watching men prancing around and dancing in women's clothes. No, real men like manly stuff, like football. Yeah, nothing like football to see manliness in action. Those broad shoulders, tight pants with junk in that trunk and let's move on uh, uh, wrestling now there's a very manly sport big strong men fighting against each other nothing like that nothing can be more manly than two men in skimpy suits rubbing their sweaty bodies against each other uh, wait 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 not everyone uses a skimpy outfit. What about those in the Olympics, the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Greek or Roman ones? Yeah, those are real men. There's nothing wrong in there, right? They're manly, right? Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Baseball, yeah, America's pastime. Nothing more American than a manly man hitting balls throwing balls. Some even have manly titles like pitcher and catcher. You pitch or catch? <laughs> I pitch. Uh, uh, let me think. Um, ooh, I know. Boxing. No? Uh, NASCAR? I give up. For those who haven't realized this by now, it was all a satire and a bit of a criticism of manly sports that only real men watch. What is a real man anyway? Many will ask, why create this? Why waste the time? Here's the point. If you don't want to be judged, don't judge. Watch, read, befriend, love whoever and whomever you want. Stop banning books. Stop attacking trans people, gay people. Stop turning women into birthing machines. Stop trying to control people who are different from you. Some will say, well, you're in the UK, what do you care? For good or bad, unfortunately, it spills out. Whatever America does, it spills out to the world. And we're already seeing something in the UK. You freaked out over a couple of beer cans that were not even available to buy. You made it known to the world. I suspect that very few people knew who Dylan Mulvaney was outside the LGBTQ community. You, with your bigotry, made her famous. Her global fame is your doing, not ours. Unfortunately, it's your doing, your bigotry. So if you want to be mad, be mad at yourself. Have the day you deserve.